Um, I, I think Rishi Sunak might just have committed a, a fairly major boo-boo uh, in Tunbridge Wells, of all places. Um, I'm disgusted. <laughs> I wonder how old you have to be to get that rather weak gag. It doesn't really pop up much anymore, but it, it used to be that like newspapers would get letters from disgusted of Tunbridge Wells about how awful the BBC was for showing pictures of ladies wearing skirts above the knee or something like that. Um, I think Sunak might just have dropped an almighty clangor. I'm, I'm going to play you. Do you want to? Should we just find out together? Should, should we? Should we have a listen together and see if? Uh, uh, pardon. Yeah, in Tunbridge Wells, as I just mentioned four times. Um, here it is. I managed to start changing the funding formulas to make sure that areas like this are getting the funding that they deserve. Because we inherited a bunch of formulas from the Labour Party that shoved all the funding into deprived urban areas. Uh, and they, you know, that needed to be undone. I started the work of undoing that. You did what? Let's play. I remember Tunbridge Wells, one of the wealthiest parts of the country. Let's have another listen there, Rishi. I managed to start changing the funding formulas to make sure that areas like this are getting the funding that they deserve. Because we inherited a bunch of formulas from the Labour Party that shoved all the funding into deprived urban areas. Uh, and they, you know, that needed to be undone. I started the work of undoing that. Right, the kindest thing I can say is that he might be in the countryside and he's talking about redirecting funding from deprived urban areas into the deprived meadows of Tunbridge Wells is on Verons. I don't think you're meant to say that out loud, Rishi, are you? God, those bloody Labour politicians pumping money into the poorest parts of the country. Well, I tried to turn that around so that you, sitting in a field, a field full of Conservative Party members, a bucolic idyll. Is it in Kent, Tunbridge Wells? I think it's in Kent. Yeah, I, 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 Kent's got some poor areas, hasn't it? Maybe he's sitting in one of them. He's just sitting in an orchard in Kent. Saying it's areas like this that need the money, not those pesky poor people in 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 inner cities. Uh, once more, with feeling, I think, because um, well, let's have a listen. I managed to start changing the funding formulas to make sure that areas like this are getting the funding that they deserve. Because we inherited a bunch of formulas from the Labour Party that shoved all the funding into deprived urban areas, uh, and they, you know, that needed to be undone. I started the work of undoing that. Wow. I mean, I guess if you're in Royal Tunbridge Wells speaking to Conservative Party members, it might be quite wise to tell them that you've started redirecting money in their direction and away from the poorest enclaves in the country. But I, I don't know that you should have let them get it on tape. Do you? Ho-hum. <laughs> 